in this video i will show you another example of phase difference this will be the fourth example or last example of this series find the phase relationship between the following waveforms here you'll see i1 is equal to minus sine 377t plus 25 degree and i2 is equal to 5 cos 377 t minus 40 degree here this 377 indicates the angular frequency omega see here as i have to calculate the phase relationship at first we have to con convert all these waveforms into the form of am sine omega t plus or minus phi naught here you will see this i1 is given into minus 4 sine omega t plus theta format okay therefore at first i will convert this into sine wave when we have minus sine theta anywhere how do we get that if we add 180 degree with the theta we will get minus sine theta therefore if i write it like this 4 sine 377 t plus 25 degree plus 180 degree I am considering the 3770 plus 25 degree as a theta therefore you will see it will be equal to minus 4 sine 3770 plus 25 degree so I can write the equation of alternating current I1 like this 4 sine 3770 plus 205 degree okay now see the current i2 is given in the form of cosine if i want to a cosine waveform into sine theta i will simply use this formula sine theta plus 90 degree will be equal to cos theta so if i consider the whole terms as a theta i can write it like this 5 sine theta that means 3770 minus 40 degree theta plus 90 degree this will give us value of cosine therefore i can write the equation of i2 like this 5 sine 377 t plus 50 degree okay see the initial phase of the current i1 is plus 205 degree and the initial phase of the current i2 is plus 50 degree that means the origin of the current i2 will be 50 degree left from the reference axis or ahead of the reference axis so our origin of the current i2 will be at the minus 50 degree point and see i1 has an initial angle of initial phase of 205 degree that means as this is plus 205 that means the origin of the i1 will be 205 degree left from the reference axis so it will be at minus 205 degree now see the angular displacement between two origins of the alternating current will be our phase difference therefore see this is our phase difference as the origin of the current i1 is obviously ahead of the origin of the i2 therefore i can say that our i1 leads i2 by the angle phi d here we will calculate phi d by subtracting 50 degree from 205 degree and you will see the angle will be 155 degree the angle 155 degree that means if i want to go from this point to this point i have to move through 155 degree angular distance from this point to this point so our i1 will lead i2 by an angle of 155 degree now i will show you that i can calculate the phase difference by using this complex phase of plane here our i1 is given by 4 sin omega t plus 205 degree and current i2 is given by 5 sin omega t plus 50 degree therefore i if i take the current phase or i1 i will get 4 phase angle of 205 degree and if i take the current phase or i2 i will get 5 5 phase angle 50 degree see this is our sin omega t along this axis our theta is equal to zero now if i 
move in counterclockwise direction with respect to the sin omega t our theta will be positive if i move in clockwise direction with respect to the sin omega t our theta will be negative see the phasor i1 has an angle of plus 205 degree that means in case of this current phasor i have to move by an amount of 205 degree in counter clockwise direction from this reference or theta equal to zero axis let's say i am moving in this direction counter clockwise direction so angle will be positive plus 90 plus 180 and from this this axis i will move by an amount of let's say 25 degree therefore this will be our current phasor i1 okay this is 25 25 plus 90 plus 90 will be 205 degree okay and the magnitude of this i1 will be 4 now i2 is equal to 5 phase angle 50 degree as the phase angle is plus 50 degree therefore to get this plus 50 degree i will rotate or move in counter clockwise direction by an amount of 50 degree let's say this is that 50 degree let's say this phasor represents current i2 with its magnitude 5 okay now see if i want to go from the phasor i2 to i1 you will see i have to move by an angle this is 40 degree this will be 90 degree and this will be 25 degree so our total phase angle will be equal to our phase difference which will be 40 degree plus 90 degree plus 25 degree here you will see the phase difference will be 155 degree as with respect to this i2 the i1 will create a positive angle therefore i can say our i1 leads i2 by 155 degree that's it now i will show you that we can show the phase difference by drawing the alternating waveforms into a cartesian coordinate system now let me do that in the y axis i will take i1 and i2 here you will see the magnitude of i2 is 5 and the magnitude of i1 could be plus 4 or minus 4 as the maximum magnitude of i2 is 5 therefore let's say i am taking plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 so this will indicate plus 5 this is our 0 point minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 so this will be our minus 5 see the origin of the current i1 is at 205 degree and the origin of the current i2 is at 50 degree minus 50 degree therefore i will take the angles by a displacement of 30 degree minus 30 minus 60 minus 90 minus 120 minus 150 minus 180 degree minus 210 minus 240 minus 270 degree this is our origin so plus 30 plus 60 plus 90 120 150 180 210 240 270 degree 300 330 360 degree okay now let me draw the current i1 here see the initial angle phi i1 is equal to plus 205 degree that means the origin of the current i1 will be 205 degree ahead of the origin 0 or reference axis see this is 0 degree as the initial phase of the current i1 is at plus 205 degree that means the origin of the i1 will be at minus 205 degree or it will be 205 degree ahead of the reference axis okay therefore i will take minus 30 minus 60 minus 90 minus 150 minus minus 120 minus 150 minus 180 minus 110 minus 210 therefore 205 will be at this point okay now from this point 
to 90 degree I will get our positive maximum 25 55 85 90 here I will get the positive maximum value of the current I1 after this from this point to 90 degree I will get next zero level here the positive maximum of the current I1 will be 4 from this point to 90 degree I will get 0 hello 25 55 85 90 so the angular displacement between this point to this origin will be 180 degree from this point after 90 degree I will get negative maximum 25 55 85 90 degree so I will get minus 4 from this point to 90 degree I will get 0 25 55 85 90 degree okay now see if I join the points I will get our alternating current I1 so this will be our alternating current I1 now look at the initial angle of the I2 it is plus 50 degree that means the origin of the current I2 will be 50 degree away from the reference axis or or 50 degree ahead from the reference axis this is minus 30 this is minus 60 therefore the origin of the current I2 will be let's say at this point okay from this point to 90 degree I will get positive maximum 20 50 80 90s at this point I will get positive maximum the magnitude will be plus 5 from this point to 90 degree I will get 0 20 50 80 90 the angular displacement between this point to this point is 180 degree so up from this point to 90 degree I will get negative maximum 20 50 80 90 at this point I will get negative maximum of minus 5 from this point to 90 degree I will get another 0 20 50 80 90 okay now see if I join the points I will get our alternating current I2 okay now look at the origin of the I2 and I1 this is at minus 205 degree and this is at minus 50 degree and the phase difference is the angular difference or displacement between these two origins here you will see here you will see the origin of the current I1 is obviously ahead of the origin of the current I2 therefore our I1 leads I2 now by an angle of see this is minus 205 this is minus 50 therefore the angle will be 155 how do we calculate this angle see this is at minus 50 therefore if I want to go from this point to this point from this origin to this origin you will see I have to move by an amount of 155 see this is minus 50 10 40 70 100 130 and from this point to this point this displacement is 25 so 130 plus 25 is equal to 155 degree